Yo. Okay, the Ninjago finale is going to be wild, but how wild is it going to be, and how wild do we want it to be? Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I am so, so thankful for this, and it wasn't too long after we got 100, so can't wait for 300, boys. If you like anything and everything Ninjago, make sure to subscribe so you can see more of your least favorite Lloyd lookalike. I just want to say that this is going to be my opinion of how I want Ninjago to end. Um, we might share the same opinions and thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Of course, keep it civil. But I think most Ninjago fans probably want the finale to be similar to what I want it to be. I could be wrong, but I think this is what most of us want. Okay, priority number one, fix the prophecy. Now, some of you might know what I mean by that. Season three kind of screwed up the prophecy because the Chosen One was supposed to defeat the Dark Lord and Zayn ended up defeating the Overlord for the second time. Even though Lloyd defeated him the first time, he came back the next season. He's like, yeah, remember that prophecy? Forget that. And for 13 seasons, they forgot about it, but the Overlord came back. And now he's back for round three. Have Lloyd defeat the Overlord. And I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go down. I mean, why would they have brought him back? If they don't do that, then I'm going to be... A little bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie closure we all want closure not just for the characters uh, not just for their arcs but for the story the plot just all of ninjago itself have there be closure have it be impactful and meaningful and not have it be rushed and just Take a steady pace, take your time, and make sure it feels natural, and make sure it feels earned. Nia and Lloyd have a lot of promise this season for their character arcs. I can't wait to see that, because, you know, Nia losing her powers and becoming Samurai X again, or whatever the new name is. And Lloyd having to deal with Harumi coming back, but his father and the Overlord and his Oni power, that's going to be interesting, and... Uh, just a lot of emotional stuff this season already from what we can see from the trailers. Make this ending meaningful, make it impactful. Make it so that years down the line when we remember the show, we remember the ending and we think about it. And that legacy alone will be there for the show. I think that would be uh, absolutely amazing. Now, Tommy Andreessen did make a tweet saying, you know, um, they made some hard choices and there's going to be some things that are going to upset some Ninjago fans. So I'm going into it with um, skeptical uh, eyes and everything, and I'm going to accept it for the way it is. If it's not what I want, that's fine. Um, of course, you know, I may or may not be disappointed, and so, so will you. But I think the Ninjago community will handle it in a respectful way. Please prove me right, guys. I have faith in you. I know you will. But yeah, that's just um, how it's going to be. I want to have some familiar faces and locations come back. That would be absolutely awesome. Can we please do that? That would be absolutely terrific. The Temple of Light. Some of the best scenes of the entire show came from the Temple of Light. It was such an awesome location. So much Ninjago history there. Please bring it back. And the Temple of Fortitude was like Temple of Light 2 Electric Boogaloo, except it only showed up once in the show, and they never mentioned it ever again. They hyped it up at the like finale of Season 3, yet they didn't bring it back. And if they're bringing back the Golden Weapons, and that was supposed to resist the Golden Power, you got to bring back the Temple of Fortitude. I don't think they will, but it's worth a shot. Bring back some familiar characters. Give us a little healthy dose of fan service, but don't overdo it. Don't bring back as many characters as possible for no reason. I think that would be absolutely ridiculous. But bring back some characters we would like to see again. Bring back Scales. Bring back Moro if you can. Bring back uh, the Hands of Time again if you can. You know, some of these villains um, could come back. Uh, not a con. I mean, he could, but it wouldn't make sense because only Jay and Mia would remember him. But I do think that this finale has the potential to be one of the great TV finales. I really do. And not only do I want closure for Ninjago, I want 
closure for all the realms, for all the 16 realms. Maybe bring them into this. Some of them were destroyed, so I mean. Bring back some familiar realms, you know? Like, make this, like, not just Ninjago ending, but the entire, like, universe ending. That would be, that'd be terrific. The stakes haven't been really high since season 10, March of the Oni. Um, so... I know from the trailers, Ninjago Crystallize is going to bring back that sense of doom that we felt in earlier seasons, you know, in the Masters of Spinjitzu era. So I'm really excited for that. So do that, please. Bring back the stakes and have an impactful and meaningful ending that we will all remember. Have there be some sort of buildup and payoff, and I think you'll be good. I think the Ninjago finale will be a competent finale. I don't know if it's going to be amazing. I, I hope it's going to be amazing, but we'll just have to wait and see. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, let me know if you agreed with some of my points. Let me know if you disagreed with some of my points. Um, let me know what you'd like to see in the Ninjago finale. And uh, if you like anything and everything Ninjago, Make sure to subscribe so you can see more of your least favorite Lloyd lookalike. And remember, the resistance never quits.